Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a Clara I.O. video learning how to model a low poly character in what's called a T pose and you can see sort of the uh, T position here. So I've made these uh, three images here um, and so I'm going to be using the middle one here uh, as a background reference plane uh, to model on top of. Um, so if you'd like you can screenshot these and then go ahead and use them yourself. Okay, so here I am in Clara. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in a plane. Um, then I'm going to bring in the reference images that I just made. So I'm going to do File, Import Files, Choose Files, and um, most likely uh, it's going to be in your downloads folder, especially for my students who download uh, from Schoology. Okay, so here is the image over here on the left hand side. Now to get it onto the plane, I need a material. So to create a material, I go here to material library. I right mouse click, go here to new, and I'm just going to choose standard. So there's a new standard material. I can double click and I'll change the name. I'll change it to ref for reference. And then with it selected, I'll come over here on the right and you'll see right up here it says diffuse and it says select image. And I'm going to um, click on select image and I'm going to choose the image that I've loaded up. Okay. I'm then also going to come down here to where it says specular and I'm going to change the glossiness from 50 to 0. Okay. And now I'm going to drag the green dotted material right on top of the object. And there we are. There is my plane. Okay, I'm now going to select my plane. Come over here on the right hand side, click on the properties panel, open the transform category, and you're either going to have to rotate it on the x axis or the z axis. For me, it's the x axis. So I'll come over here to rotation, and on the x, I'm going to type in 90, press return, and there you go. You want it standing up tall. Okay, um, so uh, I'm now going to bring in a box. And I think that the two most important views in this beginning part is going to be the perspective view and a front window. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to merge these two together by clicking on this button here. There's a larger perspective window. And I'm going to merge these two together like that. And then I'm going to change it to a front view. There we go, something like that. Um, I'll also change the front view from wireframe to realistic, so that way I can see the um, reference plane. Okay? Um, all right, before we get started, I'm going to take the reference plane and I'm going to lift it up on the y axis, so that way it's standing right on the grid. So something like that, and it's standing right on the, on the grid. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move it back so there's a little bit of space in between the reference plane and the actual box that's going to be um, what I start with. Okay. That looks good. So I'm going to do most of my modeling in the front view. And then I'll use my perspective window to, you know, select things and just move them and just look around and see how things are um, are working here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up uh, to the chest area, uh, as that's where I'm going to start. And the first thing I want to do is I want to split this uh, box right down the middle, because we're going to model um, the right hand side of the character. And then we'll, at the end, we'll do something called mirror, and that will create the other side. So with the box selected, uh, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to the tools category and um, I want, let's see, I want split. Okay, so the tool that I actually want is uh, called cut. So I've got the box selected and under tools um, I'm selecting the whole object. I'm not on face mode or edge mode or anything like that. I'm on the whole object and I'm going to click on cut 
And what it does is it puts a cutting plane right down the middle. And that's exactly what I want. I want this sliced and cut right down the middle. Um, so you'll see that I've got the yellow plane going right down the middle. That looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the left hand side. And I'm going to do that by um, switching to vertex mode. And then I left mouse click and drag a selection box around the left hand side vertices. And with those selected, you can see that they're selected here in red. I can now delete them. And there we go. I'm left with um, a half cube and it's, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and switch back to face mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the bottom face and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up a little bit. So this is gonna be the chest muscle. Uh, I'll grab the top face and drag it down and you can see I'm gonna bring it right about here to his neck and then I'm gonna grab this right hand side one and I'm gonna bring that in a little bit somewhere right about there. Okay, and I'm also noticing that, that this is probably a little bit long so um, I'll go ahead and grab the back side and I'll maybe bring it in just a little bit. Um, we'll worry about that later. But now this looks pretty good. That looks like a um, kind of a chest muscle there. Okay, good. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start the extrusions. Um, and so I've got this outside face selected and I'm gonna come over here. I'm in face mode. I'm gonna press extrude. And now for this, this is where I can go ahead and move it down. I am, I'm going to use the keys. I'm going to use move, W, rotate, which is E, and scale, which is R. So those three keys I'm going to use quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do E for rotate. Go ahead and uh, do a little rotation here. Let's get it something like that. And then scale. And just maybe move it into place. So something like that. So that's the basic process is that for each one of these segments, uh, I'm gonna extrude and then move, rotate, and scale it into place. Now it doesn't have to match up with this character perfectly, but um, we're just using this as a, uh, as a guide. Okay, um, all right, so I'm gonna continue. I'll do another extrusion. Now, if you can't see through it uh, and you need to see through it, you can always change it from realistic to wireframe. But then the problem with that, though, is that you lose the uh, you lose the image. Um, I don't know if you can actually make this object be in wireframe, but make the image plane uh, stay in realistic. That would be that would be really nice. But I don't know if that can be done. Um, okay. And I want to go a little bit smaller for the elbow there. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go a little bit larger for the forearm. And then down to the wrist. And when I'm scaling, I'm clicking and dragging on this white dot. That way, um, it, uh, it scales around all three axes. Okay, so now for the hand, um, and actually I'm gonna fix this bicep here. That could be out a little bit more. So I'll maybe select that face there. Drag it down a little bit, little tweaks. So for the hand, we're not gonna do um, thumbs. We're just gonna go ahead and do um, Kind of like a, a, a mitten. Oh, that was the bell. There we are, kids, back in school. All right, so I'm just going to again drag it over here. A little rotation. Whoops. Maybe a little scaling downward so that way 
Uh, it feels a little bit like a uh, like a hand. There we go. So could be something like that. Um, let's see. You can also switch to um, vertex mode. This is really handy. So what I can do now is I can I can drag and select around those vertices there, and I can then um, move them up a little bit, move them out a little bit, um, select these, move them down a little bit, just to kind of pose them. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Now, as you look from the top view, you'll see this is a hugely, massively muscular arm, really way too, way too much. So it's going to need some shaping. Um, you know, the, the backside probably needs to come in a little bit more. So we'll take care of that a little bit later. Right now, we're really just looking from the uh, from the front view and seeing how everything's looking here. Um, again, you can make some decisions, like, for instance, if I want the forearm to be a little bit larger, uh, I can select these vertices here and make the elbow come in just a little bit more. It's a little bit more stylized, but, um, you know, have fun with it. And it's, it's always a better idea to um, to make adjustments now. Maybe have this come down a little bit. Have the shoulder come up a little bit more. Again, just little, little um, adjustments. Something like that, I think, will work. Okay, so to finish up this part one of the video, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, extrude so that I can get some of the torso. So I'm going to go back to face mode so I can just select this one face. It's just a lot easier. Uh, press extrude um, and then come on down here and uh, start doing this here. So there we go. So it looks like I think I'm going to stick with three extrusions there. Um, then I'm going to switch to vertex mode and drag in all these vertices over here. And see how I drag them in a little further? And then what I can do is I can just select them and drag them back so that I can get a little bit more of a decent shape. Something like that. There we go. And I'm just trying to follow uh, the general um, anatomy. Okay, um, the next step that I want to do just to finish up this video is I want all of these points here in the center of the character's body to be at zero. I want them to be right here smack dab in the middle. Not close to zero, but at zero. So you'll see if I select um, these right here, if I look over here where it says translation, um, I can see uh, zero, I can see... Um, the different values here. So I'm going to try to uh, to get those all set up. So let's let's see what happens. Whoa, not what I was hoping for. Okay, so I was just I was in the wrong category. What I want to do is to make these um, exactly at zero. Is I want to come over here on the right and instead of being in the transform category, I want to be in the poly mesh category. And you'll see right here it says translation, rotation, and scale. And so if I go ahead and I select these verts right here, I want their X translation to be at zero. So if I type in zero and hit return, they'll be all set. If I go ahead and do that, that one looks good. Zero. Zero, zero. So if I move them over, you'll see that it, it, it does change over here. So there we go. So we just want to make sure that all of these are at zero. All right, now it looks very strange. It looks like these are off, I'll be honest. Um, so I'm not quite sure why that is the case. It really looks like 
it's off. So uh, when we get to mirroring, we will we will figure it out. Um, but I'm just going to leave it at zero and trust in the math. Okay, this is going to be it for part one. In part two, whoa, in part two, I will start to extrude down for the waist uh, and then the legs and then the feet. Um, and then, of course, up for the neck and the half of the head. All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.